Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to talk about Alliance War matchmaking. Now I know that quite few of my viewers do not necessarily do Alliance War hardcore and might necessarily find this to be the most, uh, you know, uh, important subject for them. But I still think that you guys could find this quite interesting because some of the statistics coming out of this season are obviously shocking. And just like another video that I have to make about the AI and Kabam effectively admitting the problem to that by adding, you know, enhanced special one and two nodes to the Battle Realm Brawl tournament, but not anywhere else in the game, just to make sure that the contestants there don't eat level threes to the face all day. Uh, well, I want to see what Kabam is going to be doing here and uh, how it is going to get resolved. So we can start off by this uh, Twitter thread from White Mummy that he sent. So here's the leaderboard in Alliance War this season, Masters Top 10 Bracket. Noon is at tensed and we haven't faced 8 out of Top 10 Alliances above us. Instead, we have been facing the very best Alliances in the game, and twice against some of them. So we're effectively playing, for the most part, we're playing the Top Top Alliances. And then, whatever. So here is the situation. And it actually kind of got even worse with the next word he was posting here. There is something wrong with the matchmaking. It basically punishes better alliances by matching them against each other and rewarding weaker alliances by giving them easier matchups. And there are these kind of like subcategories. So I don't think this is only exclusively a master's thing. I think the same thing is happening in plat 1 and plat 2 and plat 3, where the game somehow bundles together a group of alliances by some sort of parameters. And... Uh, well, half of those lines get screwed. <laughs> Let me explain where we're getting this. So this is our matchup. So LVT, we have matched twice, and that's a rematch. So we match against GT40 and Salty. So that, those are like the very, very, very top alliances, right? And now we also match TCN again. So TCN is already a rematch as well. And the way it works out is that there are going to be, you know, the strongest GT40 and Salty who, you know, do fine because they are objectively like the best alliances and it's not super easy to beat them. But then teams like LVT or SXX or, and a whole bunch of others just end up fighting each other and knocking each other out of Masters Top 10 without ever really matching anybody that's ahead of them at a time, which is the exact situation of New Nation. And I know that somebody is going to tell me that I'm really salty because New Nation isn't doing well in the war. The reality is we actually did fine, and I'm going to prove that. But uh, yeah, I'm somewhat annoyed by this, because New Nation is one of those alliances that does get routinely screwed over by the matchmaking. Just like in previous seasons, we had, you know, alliances that die 15 times a war getting on the pedestal. And again, no offense to those guys. I'm sure that, you know, it's not necessarily up to them who they match. But they definitely were in top three, just like most of the top 10 right now is not an actual top 10 in the game that I'll prove. Well, you are there. And here we go. We have finished all our force, but well, I'm, I'm just going to show that picture here. So this is, this is funny because now here are current standings before the first war, right? Before the, sorry, before the last war. You can see. Salty and GT40 have 22 and 25 deaths, respectively. Way ahead of the curve. Way ahead of everybody else, for sure. Then take a look at the spot number three of Nefty. 62 deaths. And then we have XK9, 56. LVT, fair enough, they have 40. Right? TCN, 49. And then we have spots 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll go with 65, 96. 94 and 108 deaths. Where's the problem? Notice the odd one out, for instance, here. The new nation, for instance. 35 deaths. New nation has the third lowest death total. And somehow we're in spot 15. And that is because we have played virtually none of the alliances ahead of us, aside from TCN, LVT. Salty and GT40. So if we don't match them, we can't try and beat them, so we can't really try and overtake them. And then, you know, I imagine similar situation for SSX. 
for instance, they are at 45 deaths as well, which is about, I think, fifth lowest count. If New Nation is third, then LVT is fourth. And 45 would be, yeah, SSX is virtually in the same position. They have the fifth lowest death count, and they are in 16th place. And in fact, you can see that call grouping here. 35, 45, 49, 57, 61, right? Somehow, Alliance is with 118, 140. So literally, Alliance that has died like, what? Four times as many as often is ahead of New National OVT. We have ISO 8, 8 Chaos. SGA1 with 108, that's next with 94. CZ Alliance, 96. And again, no disrespect to those alliances, you know. They should not be as high. They objectively are not as high, like if there would be some sort of other scoring parameters. And this is just yet another one of those things that is clearly broken and has been broken and just goes unaddressed. And I have relatively changed, you know, my kind of like stress level about MCUC, how much I get stressed about it. Because, um, you know, I understand you're not always going to be the first, you're not always going to be the best rewards, I can't afford to be like the biggest whale and stuff like that. And I think it's good to understand your limitations. But this is clearly fucked up. You can clearly see that this entire thing, this entire group of alliances should be significantly higher. Somehow, again, we have hmm. actually no. Well, 62 is not that bad, but we still have 108, 94, 96 deaths in top 10 somehow. <laughs> when 35, 45 deaths are well outside of it. And the worst thing about that, this entire situation is, it's like with New Nation, we're used to always having a tough schedule of war because our war rating is always relatively high. We have never purposely tanked and we maintain it and we like it. We like matching Salty, we like matching GT40, we like matching all the best alliances in the world to actually go toe to toe with them. And that's what makes the war interesting and fun, more so than the rewards. We all know that alliance rewards are alliance rewards aren't like you know proportionate to the effort required. The competition is what's interesting, and these type of things kind of ruin it as well, because we can't match most of the alliances that we should be matching when Kabam is giving these rematches to us. When we have to go and rematch LVT, when we have to go and rematch TCN and whatnot, instead of actually you know bottling it out. To find out whether New Nation is going to beat, you know, next this se this season, or whether New Nation is going to beat ISO eight this season, or something like that. We don't ever even get to play about against those alliances because, again, it's only twelve wars. There are twenty alliances in Masters, so you can't match everybody, right? But there's still a lot of alliances to match. It's like, why the hell are there rematches in situations like this? Like, New Nation should have had zero rematches at this point when there's like. 10 alliances ahead of us with similar war ratings, similar season scores that we haven't played. Like, why are we playing, you know, LVT again? Why are we matching TCN again? When there's so, so many teams that, you know, we haven't played. And again, this has been busted for many, many seasons. Some, you know, seasons New Nation does better under these circumstances when we do manage to squeak in a win against Salty or GT40 or something like that. Some seasons, you know, it goes a bit more rough for us. But obviously still going to finish Masters somewhere, but, you know, that's not here nor there. But it just feels so fucked up. It really does. And Kabam is just not addressing this at all. And just leaving it to marinate somewhere. So hopefully, potentially, you know, maybe somebody from Kabam can address this. Because interestingly enough, Kabam can't be unaware of it. Because every single thing that I said about New Nation, I believe, applies to SSX1 as well. 
Because again, 45 deaths, 16th place. That is not representative of their actual strength and their playing ability at all. And there are several people working, actually employed by Kabam in that alliance. So I refuse to believe that it has not been brought up somewhere in internal conversation. But do we, the players, know anything at all about it? Haven't even had a proper acknowledgement of the issue, the matchmaking, let alone some sort of plan to fix it or timelines or anything else. So, just not goddamn good enough. All right, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about